Good morning, my friends. Water with half a lemon in it. <laughs> Too late in the morning for coffee. It is June 29, 2021. Tomorrow's the last day of June. We'll be halfway through this year. Oh boy, are things getting back to normal where you are? I still hear the saddest, saddest things about our nation. Why? Why would any government on any planet not want their people to go to work? Why? Does that make any sense to anyone? <laughs> Keep paying unemployment forever when every single company down the street is hiring? <sighs> That's just my latest upset with what's going on in our country. So let's just skip right by that, okay? <laughs> June 29. Nothing in return. The scripture is Luke 6, 34. Let's see what Jesus said in Luke 6, 34. If you lend to those from who you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners, expecting to be repaid in full. Even sinners lend to sinners, expecting to be repaid in full. Hmm, that's kind of a strange one. I don't remember that in the Bible. I mean, I'm talking, you know, Jerry always reads what's before it and what's after it. If you lend to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? You expect repayment from anybody you loan money to with interest. <laughs> I'm talking if you're a bank <laughs> or a lending institution. You know, would I loan money to a friend, to a relative? Sure, sure. Would I expect it back? No. Would I get it back? Probably not. <laughs> Except for my daughter. My daughter has always, always paid me back. Alrighty. Once again, Jesus drives home the point that treating others as you would like to be treated is key to serving him. Look at the people around you and ask. What can I do for someone else? Not what can I gain from them? What did President Kennedy say? Ask what you can do for your country, not what your country can do for you. I bet he got that right here from this Bible. Are you willing to help those who can give you nothing in return? If you treat your friends with generosity, so what? Anyone can do that. But if you unselfishly reach out to those with whom you do not have a relationship and show mercy to them, that is God's love in action. Mercy helps others and expects nothing in return. It is a different kind of love than the world recognizes. Well, I don't think that's totally true because it said even sinners give to sinners not respecting anything in return. And I think that's where you've got your salvation army and your other charities, and we give to them, and then they help these other people. We don't expect anything back when we give money to a charity. We don't expect anything back when we give money to Salvation Army. I've given households to Goodwill and Salvation Army and expected nothing in return and prayed that it would be a blessing to somebody who really needed it. Oh, my goodness, we gave away. Oh, I couldn't even count them. A thousand garments to a charity in Kingfisher, Oklahoma called the Upper Room. They used to come by every morning with a pickup truck to pick up the things that I put out for them every night. I moved in to my mother-in-law's home because it, she was a, a major, major pack rat. She was a very, very neat, organized pack rat, but she was still a pack rat. She, she must have had 300 pair of shoes maybe more. Jewelry. Oh, I think I've got a lot of jewelry. She had a whole dresser that had a whole bunch of drawers in it. And every drawer would have a certain color. This would have all orange jewelry. This would have all green jewelry. This one would have all blue jewelry. This one would have all turquoise jewelry. This one would have all yellow jewelry. You get the point. <laughs> many, 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 many drawers all went to this place called the upper room. 
her furniture, her couches, her chairs, her tables, her kitchen table, her kitchen chairs, her dishes, her the food we had to get rid of because it was too old and, and nobody could have used it. Uh, so we had to get rid of the food. But the dishes, and then that was just two rooms. <laughs> that was her bedroom. No, that's three. Her bedroom, the living room, and the kitchen. Then there was the garage. A big garage. All the way to the ceiling and all the way wall to wall. With things. There was an old organ in there. <laughs> there was a wheelchair. There was lawn furniture. There was, and it was all like brand new, all perfectly good. And I would just put it out, and every morning they would come with a pickup truck and pick it up and take it away. I felt really good that even after his mother passed away, she was able to help so many people, and she was the type that would. Oh, good heavens, she would give you anything, and if you even tried to pay her back. She used to get mad at me. When I first married Jerry, I bought her a really nice, um, she was not married, she was divorced, and lived by herself, and she was uh, uh, still a nice looking lady, what was she, in her 50s when we got married, and um, had a nice body, and so I bought her a real pretty, I don't want to call it a negligee, but it was a real pretty nightgown with a house coat that went with it, you know, real pretty with lace and, and shiny, was it nylon they're made out of? My mother used to love to wear that. I hate to wear nylon, I hate to wear cotton. But it was beautiful, and it was a uh, peach color. She opened, of course, I didn't know her very well, but it was Christmas, and she opened up that box and she said, Oh, good heavens, who wasted their money buying this for me? Oh, my goodness, you should not have bought this for me. You should have just kept your money. I don't need another nightgown to sleep in. I have plenty of them. I was sitting across the room just in tears. I'm like, what the heck? I searched and searched and searched for something pretty to buy her mother. What is the problem? And that's the way she was. She never, ever came to our house without bringing us something. When I was staying down here a lot, when we first put our uh, mobile home down here years ago, I would come down here by myself. Well, if she happened to visit Jerry in our home, when I wasn't there, I would come back, walk in the house, and there'd be stuff on my refrigerator and stuff on my counter. One time, Jerry and I bought our first house, and I had a full-time job, Jerry had a full-time job, we were both at work. We came home one day, and she had been there, and she had planted a whole bunch of rose bushes all up and down this garden on the side of our house. Jerry was furious. I wonder where he got this from. He said, who does she think she is coming here and putting stuff in my garden? And Jerry pulled them all up and threw them over in the field behind our house. <laughs> but that's the way she was. She just gave and gave and gave and gave. She was a nurse. Number one, top of the ladder, enabler, oh yes. But I think we're all givers, don't you? We all care for the less fortunate. We all want to give and don't expect anything in return. And I think we all learned it from Jesus. Okay, my dear friends, I've got to go. I made my first lounge gown yesterday. Well, not my first, but my first for the so long. For the lounge gown so long. So I've got a video coming over on my sewing channel and I'll show you my very first one that I finished yesterday. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow with another devotion.